हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम श्योर मिश्रा वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल विजन केयर एडवाइजर फ्रेंड्स टूडे इज टॉपिक इज कॉर्नियल डेलन तो कॉर्नियल डेलन आर स्मॉल सोफर लाइक हॉलोज फाउंड एट द एज ऑफ द कॉर्निया तो इट इज यूजली फॉर्मिंग एन ओवल शेप पैरल टू द लिम्बस विच इज द बॉर्डर ऑफ द कॉर्निया when there is instability in the tear film especially in the mucin layer it can lead to localized dryness and dehydration of the corneal surface this dehydration may result in the formation of the corneal tendon and looks like shallow hollows or dimples at the corneal margin so it's important to address the underlying tear film instability and dehydration to manage corneal tendon effectively so corneal delen occurs in about 9% of cases after trabeculectomy trabeculectomy is a surgery of glaucoma and also up to 19% after muscle surgery if we are talking about the risk factors so anything that causes the elevation of tissue near the edge of the cornea can lead to corneal delen etiology of the corneal delen the red tissue affects the tear film leading to changes that result in corneal delen formation so friends corneal delen can occur due to various factors that lead to elevation of tissue near the cornea such as episcleritis or scleritis actually episcleritis is the inflammation of episclera and scleritis is the inflammation of the sclera pingula or pterygium so thick pingula or pterygium is the growth of tissue on the conjunctiva subconjunctival hemorrhage subconjunctival hemorrhage is the bleeding underneath the conjunctiva tibial conjunctival chemosis swelling of the conjunctiva can be considered the conjunctival chemosis subconjunctival injections so any medications injected under the conjunctiva that can also cause the delen suture granuloma it is a reaction to stitches used in eye surgery limbal tumors limbal tumor is the growth of the abnormal tissue at the border of the cornea and sclera lesions just like angioma it is abnormal growth of blood vessels post surgery any surgery like cataract surgery rectus muscle surgery or trabeculectomy long term contact lens wear prolonged use of contact lenses can also lead to delen paralytic leg ophthalmos it is incomplete closure of eyelid due to nerve paralysis ocular trauma so if there is any injury of the eye that can also lead to delen diagnosis so friends as we discussed if there is any history like eye surgery or patient may notice any changes in their eye appearance then lit lamp examination may help to diagnose the corneal delen so you can notice the thinning of the cornea and a steep or sloping walls around the delen so i care professional may use fluorescein dye to help visualize it differential diagnosis corneal delen may be mistaken for other eye conditions like peripheral ulcerative keratitis corneal ulcers or terens marginal degeneration symptoms patient may experience redness foreign body sensation or grittiness progression so delen may typically last for 24 to 48 hours and heal spontaneously within 2 weeks however it can become chronic leading to epithelium breakdown stromal inflammation and scarring if not treated so now come to the point of treatment actually artificial tears and ointments can help keep the eye lubricated in some cases antibiotic eye drops may be used patching the affected eye for a day and addressing the causes of the tissue elevation are also part of the treatment i care professional may use bandage contact lenses to treat the corneal delen prognosis with proper treatment corneal delen usually resolve without causing any long term problems although they may leave a scar if present for a prolonged period while managing the corneal delen it is often responded well to patching and lubrication corneal delen are manageable with proper treatment and follow up care if any person notices any changes in their eyes or have concerns it's essential to consult with an eye care professional i hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching